As your fire and EMS agency, we are here to ensure we do whatever it takes to protect you and your family. There are many valuable pieces of critical information that can help save lives and property in a real emergency that we don't know until we arrive at your door. So good morning, my name is Captain Dwyron from the uh, Berwick Fire Department. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about a new program that we're offering our residents in town and uh, business owners. It's called Community Connect. It's in conjunction with our CAD system that we use for responding to emergency calls in town. Um, this Community Connect program is a uh, great program for our residents and business owners to upload a lot of information uh, that it would be readily available to us as we are responding to your address. Um, some of the stuff that you can put in there would be your contact information, uh, emergency contact information on who to get a hold of uh, if there was a problem with you and or your information to get a hold of you if you are not there. There's also the ability to uh, get notified yourself if there's an emergency at your house uh, to where you would receive a notification just like we would in case you weren't home. There's a bunch of other things that are awesome for it to be done. Uh, you can add in uh, you know information about your house uh, you know your building types uh, where your uh, emergency shutoffs are for your gas or water uh, your electrical panels are uh, one of the things that i like as a guy that does a lot of the fire prevention in town and teaching my kids and trying to tell them to set up meeting places is it also will tell us where your meeting place is and, um, so that we have that information as we are responding to your house a couple other things that it can do um, is that you can add who lives there. You can put in everybody that lives there and um, you know whether you have juveniles there or adults there you can tell us you know where the bedrooms are located in the house uh, so that you know, we have a general layout of it. You can actually upload um, a map of your house if you have that already in digital format. There's the ability to add in uh, your pet information, if you had any pets that you'd like us to know about, livestock, uh, anything that's outside uh, or inside your house, kind of their habits, whether they're you know, vicious or they're friendly or um, you know, where they might be located if you aren't home during the day, you know, that type of stuff that is very helpful to us. And the last thing we'd like to do is walk into a house with a vicious dog and get attacked by it. So um, one of the other things with, vet, uh, with the pets is that you can also add your vet information. So if for some reason you're not home and you, there is an issue with your pet, and we can get a hold of your vets and try and you know, mitigate that problem as, as easily as we can. So with the uh, properties, like I was saying earlier, you can add in a location uh, or a map of all your, your property, your, your um, you know, kind of your diagram, your layout of your house. That'll pop up as well. Uh, you can also give us your, um, you know, a, a door code or a gate code, or if you have a Knox box, the location of your Knox box, where your key might be located. Uh, you know, that's important stuff for us so that we can have access to your house if there's nobody home without us having to force entry into your house. One of the really cool things with the program is that you can put in a lot of information about uh, elderly, your senior citizens. Um, you can add in, you know, some medical information about them. Uh, their, you know, their medical history, kind of whether they're an Alzheimer's patient, dementia patient, their, you know, risk for falls, um, the mobility problems, you know, do they have a hard time getting around the house, where the location might be to get into the house, stuff like that. So, uh, and one other program that this offers is the smoke detector program. Uh, the department, not only in conjunction with Community Connect, but also with the Red Cross, has uh, started a program where we can help install smoke detectors uh, in residences that um, need them, that might have uh, some financial needs or need, need to have, have those smoke detectors installed in their house. Uh, in this Community Connect program, you can request uh, a smoke detector. There's a spot in there for you to check off the box that you're looking for one and it'll notify us that you have requested a smoke detector and we'll reach out to um, get that set up to be able to come in and install that or at least insist, at least give it to you if not help you install it. So uh, if this is something that you're interested in, 
uh, which we are strongly encourage and for sure all of our commercial properties. Uh, we will be actually coming out to visit most of our, if not all, of our commercial properties and doing a face-to-face, -face. but also it's very beneficial to our residents as well. The link to this program is listed on the Berwick, Maine's uh, webpage under the fire department, as well as on the fire department's Facebook page. We have some links to it listed there as well. It's a very easy process. Just click the link, uh, log in, and follow through the steps of checking off all the boxes and putting in the information that you want us to have available to us. It's a very secured site that uh, only we will see, we will have access to only uh, on our apparatus as we're responding to your calls. So um, yeah, if you don't have access to the computer uh, or internet access, you can go to the library and get, that ac get access to it from there. They have all the information, they have the cards available to you. Uh, that can help you with the link to get in um, and work your way through it. The one thing that I will warn people is that when you do sign up, it does usually send you uh, a confirmation authorization email. That authorization email occasionally has been going into people's spam folder and you're not able to actually finish the process. So if you don't receive an authorized, authorization email, please check your spam folder and follow that link from there. And that's about it. Any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at the station. Rest assured, all of your data is safe and only available to our first responders during the time of response using the same data security and encryption standards found in online banking. If you have five minutes to sign up, please select the link to create your profile and get started helping your first responders help you.